My name is Ruth and I'm into fashion and I run new things DIYer. I love doing things on my own, I love customizing stuff for myself, recycling, upcycling, reusing, repurposing. So if you are into this topic, please don't be shy and smash that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. So for today's video, I'm going to make a dress from scratch. If you have watched my vlog number four, I've used a triangle pattern to make an altar blouse. Then on my vlog number five, one of the materials that I have presented was paint and paintbrush. But then I ended up not using it again. So I told myself or I questioned myself, am I avoiding or am I scared of using paint and paintbrushes? Well, I don't think so. So I told myself I'm going to make a project that I will be forced to use a paint and a paint process. So that's the reason why I am doing this project. The project will be a circular pattern dress with painting design. If last time I've used a triangle shaped pattern, this time I'm gonna be using a circular, a circular pattern and I'm gonna paint the fabric. So without further ado, let me show you how I will make this project happen. For illustration purposes, I'm going to use a paper towel to explain how to cut a circular pattern. Imagine this paper towel is a fabric, fold the fabric into four. Divide the shoulder or neckline measurement that you measured into four and plot it to the fabric. To ensure that you will have a perfectly circular hole in the middle of the pattern, place the tape measure at the center point of the fabric and ensure that you have the same measurement from the horizontal line to the vertical line of the folded fabric or the other way around. Connect all the markings to define the center of the circular pattern. From the center hole marking, plot the length of the dress to ensure that you will have a perfectly circular hem. Mark every couple of inches from the horizontal line to the vertical line of the folded fabric and connect all the markings afterwards. Cut the center hole and the hemline with allowances and the circular pattern is finished and ready for stitching. In case you don't have enough fabric like me to get a full circular pattern, you may follow the second way that I am going to illustrate. My fabric is not enough for the full width but has a good enough length because it's 4 yards. Imagine that I cut my fabric by length into two and each panel has two yards in length. I will put the two panels on top of each other and fold them in the middle and pattern the same way I patterned the first illustration. After cutting the fabric, I will have two halves of the circular pattern and I will connect the two halves by stitching so that I can have a full circular pattern afterwards. At this stage, I already patterned my fabric according to the second illustration I explained earlier. I plotted the armhole on the outer side of the center hole. Choo -choo. 
After I finished the circular pattern, I proceeded with painting my fabric first before constructing the dress using these materials. For the paint, I used Fabric Castle Fabric Paint. It has 12 beautiful vibrant colors and these are the colors I chose to use. Then I have paint brushes, a bowl with water to wash my brushes, water to thin out my paints, serving plates and saucer for the flower sizes pattern. I started by laying my fabric on my pattern table, plotted my flower placements, then proceeded on painting the flowers one by one, then the leaves. After finishing painting on the first half of the circular pattern for my dress, I proceeded on painting on the second half of the circular pattern. When I finished painting on the two halves of the pattern, I cut a lining for my dress according to the circular pattern. I also cut two layers of hard tool to attach it to the lining as I am planning to use horse hair to give some volume to the hemline of my dress. First, I base stitch the lining and the hard tool then attach it by stitching. After attaching the hard tool on the lining, I searched the sides of the two halves lining including the top part of the hard tool. I then pinned the two sides and proceeded on stitching it. To give extra volume and body to the hemline of my dress, I used 2 inches of coarse hair and stitched it along the circumference of the dress lining hemline.
After stitching the horse hair on the lining, I set the lining aside so that I can start constructing the dress. I pinned the sides of the two halves with circular pattern and proceeded on stitching it. Here's a look after stitching the two halves. It became one circular fabric now. To give you an idea of the width and length of the pattern after stitching, well, it is covering a king size bed. I pinned the lining in the dress on the hemline part, having the right sides of both fabrics together, then proceeded to stitch it. Here is the look of the dress after stitching and flipping to the right side of the fabric. For the sleeves of the dress, I got four of the same pattern so that I can use two pieces for each sleeve. I pinned the cuff side of the sleeve having the right side of the fabric together, then I proceeded to stitch it trim the excess fabric then under stitch it I pinned the end of the sleeve stitch it then flipped it I pinned the finished sleeves to the armhole of the dress and then proceeded to stitch it. To give a clean finishing on the armhole, I cut an inch and a half bias strip fabric facing, then pin it to the armhole, stitch it, then flip the strip to cover the raw edges of the armhole. To finish the neckline of the dress, I got 3 inches of bias fabric, then pinned it to the neckline and arm circumference, then proceeded on stitching it, trimmed the raw edge, snipped it, under stitched it, flipped the facing to the wrong side of the dress, pinned it, then finally top stitched it. That's all the process that my Miracle Garden painted dress design have gone through. Well, I can say that I am very content and very happy with the result of this project. I was able to finally use paint and paint brushes for my DIY project. So, I hope this project inspires you to be creative and encourage you to be brave and do the things that you have been wanting to do but kept finding excuses to realize it and to make it happen so for my final thought or message for you is be brave and make it happen god bless you see you in my next video